We all know that not every comeback is in 100% well planned. Sometimes groups release songs that would do better if they were released at a different time. And there are many different reasons for that, from the idols getting a lot of hate at that time, to basically being overshadowed by other, more talked about comebacks, idol controversies, mismanagement or marketing trends. So. In today's video, I want to show you some K-pop songs, I personally think would do better if they were released at a different time. This is just my personal opinion, you have every right to disagree, write your thoughts in the comment section, since I would love to hear your point of view as well. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Bitch, none in solo. Although Jinny has always been a very loved idol by many people, at the time of the release of Solo, she was the most hated idol in the whole industry. She was called lazy and unprofessional, due to her sometimes forgetting the song's lyrics or dance moves on concert, or dancing with less energy. They were also accusing her of being rude, and not caring about her job as an idol. If your idol was in that situation, what would you do? As the company, protect the idol, give them a proper break, address the hate comments, all of the above are wrong. YG Entertainment gave her a solo song, making the hate for Jin even bigger, with people calling her the YG's princess, the one being favored member, that gets special treatment. Even thought the song did well on the chart, scoring number one, on almost every streaming platform in Korea, winning music shows, and even many awards on awards show. It didn't stop Solo from being a really controversial at that time song. As I said before, Jinny was consistently bashed for being the company's favorite for getting a solo song first, and the other members not getting ones for over two years after the release of Solo made the whole situation even worse. She was dragged for everything she did, even minor things, no one should even consider to make a problem out of. In my opinion, it would be much smarter to release at least Kill This Love. Before Solo, give Blackpink more group songs, at least second mini album, before debuting Jenny as a soloist, having in mind the fact, she was constantly being hated on for no reason. I, as well as no one there, knows Jenny personally, but I feel it would be better for her, especially her mental health, for YG, to wait a bit longer until they release ones of the members solo. Especially considering the fact, they were still a fresh group only a bit over two years after the debut. One word for this song, Overshadow. With all of the top groups releasing their comebacks at that time, it was almost sure, Pirate wouldn't get the recognition it deserved. Everyone was waiting for Ives' debut, which unfortunately for Everglow, came out at the exact same day and hour as Pirate. Not only making the fans more focused on Eleven, but also less interested in louder girl group sounds. If you guys remember, at that time, it was the increase of the popularity of more experimental songs, with Espa releasing Savage, and Mixx's debut coming soon. Early 4th gen era was full of loud songs, which made it harder for Everglow. 2021 was the era where people started expressing their disappointment in louder music, how it's overdone and how they would rather listen to more quieter sounds. It was incredibly hard time for Everglow, and their disappearance for nearly two years after the release of Byrat didn't make it any better for them. I wish the song got the recognition it deserved, even though I didn't really like it at first, after some time, I understood it. I feel like this song would do better if they released it directly after La DDA. At the beginning of 2021, since they were truly praised for La DDA, and I feel like people would definitely tune into Pirate too. Now, this was never a bad song to begin in, but it didn't do as well as their other releases, and wasn't received that good from netizens. Due to the almost two-year-old hiatus, Red Velvet was one. People wanted more. They said it wasn't worth waiting that long for this song. People's expectations were really high, since first of all, it's Red Velvet. Second of all, they were on hiatus. People thought they are preparing something out of this world. I'm not going to lie, Queen the album was to me, one of the more forgettable ones from them. Pose kind of blew up, 
but other than that, the promo sucked, making it just not as memorable as their other releases, especially if we remember that the song they released before it was Psycho. I think, it would be better for them to release Feel My Rhythm first, the title was incredible, and don't even get me started on the B-sides, this is a truly non-skip album, with the aesthetic being magnificent. Truly one of the better Red Velveteers. I've said it once and I will do so again. This comeback was just so awfully timed it's crazy. I would go as far as to say they were the most hated group at that time. Everyone was bashing them, every single fandom. None of them spoke up to say something to not drag them, they were slated everywhere, at all times. They were laughed at for their alleged bad Coachella performance, that was actually good, the crowd may have not been the best, but since they were announced just some days before the event, with little to no of their fans, they did an amazing job. Giselle was dragged constantly for everything. It was just crazy. And they got a big Twitter account dragging them for bad choreography SM gave them and for a bad synchronization, especially Giselle who was hated for that one rehearsal thank them. Additionally at that time, every other song was called bad by the community. People said it sounded like a NCT reject, that girls is bad. Life's too short is cringe etc. Just look at the amount of likes on the photos and try telling me it's not crazy. People were saying stuff like Espa is the problem, not the choreography. Like if we are being real the choreography was kind of bad, especially the pre-chorus, but is it enough to do all of this? Considering the fact, the song had everything else, the vocals, rap, visuals, and an actual good choreo during the dance break, it was just that good. <laughs> I said what I said over two years ago, but I take it back. This song was never awful. I admit, this is one of their weaker title tracks, but is it bad? Number. It was that time in the community when everyone was calling a slightly worse song bad or boring, and Scientist was a victim of that. Additionally it was overshadowed by all the other comebacks that were released at that time. We had Espa with Savage, Ives debut, and the fact they released this in between their first English song The Feels, and their best to this day Japanese song Donut, it didn't do this song justice. It made the song look plain and underwhelming, and it's honestly sad, I think this is their best album, the song were all crazily good, especially Espresso in Last Waltz. It deserves extreme attention. It's also one of the best album of 2021. It's so unfortunate that the song that got the most attention was Hello by Neon, Momo and Chin, mainly because people called it bad. Sana, we, 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 we.